For as much as I have come to see that the Tribunal Temple is based upon false gods, I will not directly attack them. They to me represent my people, the Dunmer. I am also a member of the Tribunal, an adept at a lower rank, but one still part of the Temple to be sure. I respect them and even appreciate what they have done for Morrowind and the Dunmer people. The Tribunal gods, who I do not dispute are gods, but rather have deceived the world by how they attained it, have protected and shepherded Morrowind for many millennia. A rich and unique culture has grown because of this within my people. We have also become quite prosperous compared to many other provinces of Tamriel. Despite all of this, however, I will not keep my mouth silent if it comes down to it. If the accusations against them for withholding the truth about what Vivek, Amalexia, and Sothisil did to gain apotheosis, and what they did to Lord Narivar, some say they murdered him, are true, then, well, this worship of Almsivi will have to come to an end. That still doesn't mean I will go to war against them, nor physically attack the ordinators or priests. To that end, I am very happy that I didn't lift a finger against the temple members in Bar Dao, where Mira Milo was kept in prison. I now aim to get Julan and return to Ebenhart and find this friend that Mira Milo mentioned. She will hopefully take me to see the dissident priests and find out if they have written down copies of the Ashlander prophecies of the Nerevarine before the knowledge of it was only passed down by oral tradition. That and anything else they may have that would reveal the lies of the tribunal and tell what actually happened to Lord Nerevar. This is very important work I do now. I do not care about it being heretical. As far as I am concerned, the Tribunal Temple itself is heretical. The truth will be known regardless of cost. It is better than living under this falsehood and while doing so being powerless to stop Dagoth Ur. It's a nice day in Old Rune. I spent the last few days training mostly in the Mages Guild in Balmora. But I spent a day training here in the temple as well and I gained a rank in the temple. I'm now a curate. Got it. Nice day. Let's see what I have to read. I already wrote Invocation of Azura. Um, Dance in the Fire. I should try to collect those, but Dren's Note. That's, I'll use that if I ever go see Vadim Dren in Ebenhart, which I actually am going to do, actually, now. I'm not sure if I'll see him. Maybe I should try. Hospitality papers, invocation of Azura, sold some things, lightened up my pack, spent some gold around 10,000 training, mostly in mysticism, but some conjuration as well, but I don't think I'll ever need it. But I also trained in sneak. If I ever find somebody that's really good at security, I'll train with them. Silence by Ganfero Kimeth. I've heard of you, said the old vagabond, very impressed. Aren't you the adventurer who slew all those ash vampires in Ghostgate a couple of months back? That I am, said Oristist Oristian Silverthorn with a weary smile for his admirer. He knew that his name was not yet legendary and it was best to be polite. And you are? My name would have no meaning to you, but I'm Erodero Thoreau. He said, raising a glass of grief. I hail from the region of Ghostgate, which is how I heard your name. Are you on an adventure as we speak? Yes, said Silverthorn with a grim expression. I'm challenged to rid the Grayslands of a rogue battle mage by the name of Egroa Maro. I've heard of him as well, said Darrow Thrill. He is said to be very powerful, an implacable foe. That is why I'm drinking now, sighed Silverthorn. So tell me, what is your profession? I do nothing, said Darrow Thrill, with some measure of pride, but in my youth I used to teach the skills of illusion at the University of Gwillem. Perhaps you can help me then, said Silverthorn, suddenly excited. Can you teach me the spell Silence? I can certainly pay you. I know that spell, said Darrow Thrill. You might find invisibility very helpful as well, or perhaps darkness, which would allow you to sneak up on o old Egroamuro. No, said Silverthorn firmly. I only have time to learn one spell. I have to kill Egroamuro, collect the reward, and be back in Nisus as quickly as possible. My wife worries when I'm away. Darrow Thrill agreed, and as the two settled back in their seats at the corner club and tossed back glasses of grief, the old man shared his knowledge of the spell. He explained what it truly meant to bend sound, creating a cone of silence as glass can bend light. He had Silverthorn close his eyes while he tapped the side of his glass, making him picture the sound as the physical entity it was before it was extinguished. The adventurer, after a few hours of instruction, paid the old teacher and set off on his way. In Doranyon, Egromoro's stronghold was not far from Sidrith Mora, and he soon saw the blight and ruin that was the battle mage's calling card. Delving into the depths of the ruins, Silverthorn was set upon by the servitors of Egromoro, 
Egromaru, living and undead. With his enchanted ebony blade, he cut through legions before facing the master himself in the desolate main hall. Egromaru bowed to his adversary sardonically and then prepared to unleash a fireball to incinerate him. Before he had uttered the first word of the spell, he suddenly found that all the creaking and sighing of the ruins around him had been stilled. He opened his voice to speak, but there was no sound. Silverthorn took his, his time strolling across the length of the hall before dispatching the battle mage with one stroke of his blade. The adventurer rushed back to the tribunal temple where he had received his quest, accepted the gold and the thanks, and was back in his house in Nisus. but a few days later. His wife, Laia, was beside herself with worry. All I could do night after night is toss and turn. I kept imagining you burned to ashes by that battle mage, and where would that leave me? Do we have enough gold that I could support myself if you, Saint Saren, let it not be so, were killed during one of these jaunts? I don't think so. Why couldn't you get a nice position at the Fighters Guild right here in town? I hear they're looking for a trainer for the Imperial Guard. I know, I know, you want a life of adventure and danger and freedom, but if you'd only take one moment to think of me, stuck here all by myself worrying about you, I suppose you'd like it if I took more of an interest in your work. But it's like I was telling Sir Calesia Vignum the other day. I said, Calesia, what good is a husband? Laia continued to talk deaf to the fact that her words were dead before they left her mouth. Silverthorn smiled and nodded his head, enjoying the silence. He could have killed Egg Moro without the spell he considered, but he could not have survived his wife. <laughs> that actually had a twist at the end, a little bit of one. That was pretty good. I like that story. Though I've never had a, <laughs> a partner that I couldn't stand her talking non-stop like that. But if she's so worried about him, maybe she should train and go work beside him. Now that's actually a woman that I would like to have Is in my life. I can do for but unfortunately, there's not many people in the adventure trade to begin with. Oh, finding a woman that uh, is willing to accept you is another thing. There you are, Julan. Do you want with me to, uh, for me to travel with you again? Yes, come on. Let's get going. I let him know a few days ago via my telepathy ring that I will be training for a few days and all will be okay. I don't know... I, never, I think I've talked to this barcounter. Maybe I did when I was looking for Julan. Is it inside? Oh, what do you sell? That's right, I'm supposed to look for Cyrodiilic Brandy. But I'm supposed to get people in Balmora to donate. But that's another... For another adventure. Okay, we're going to go down to Evenheart. I can't think why the Empire haven't bothered much with this part of Vardenfell. Anyone would think that they're, they didn't like Ashrams or something. <laughs> I can see why they wouldn't bother with this part of Vardenfell. Go ahead, Outlander. What do you need? <laughs> Move along, Outlander. It's pretty plain as day. As the saying is. Okay, so the fastest way there, actually, I'm just going to recall. Since I've trained so well, hopefully, I'll never. Uh, I must say, I find you most interesting right now. Please again. go ahead. Okay, so it's actually quickly quicker if you take me to Vivek, and if I put use divine, divine into. Intervention. Yeah, there we are. Yeah, you managed to follow me. Okay. Pleasure is all mine. This actually is not where I wanted to go. So used to just going in there. I wonder if the Duke would speak with me. I have reason to speak to him. Uh, I don't even know where to go. I've just gone from one side to the other. Let's just look at the rooms. This doesn't look like... The Duke actually has a throne room. So I've heard. Well, that... This just leads up to the front of Evenheart. Welcome, friend. You're nearly a legend around here. Please, Grace of the Nine, Citizen Sunil Rilve, and I'm Lara Amandus. Welcome to Evenheart, capital of Vardenfeld District. Are you looking for someone in particular? Yes, you know of me. A lot of people actually know of me. Can you tell me where Duke Vadim Dren is? Duke Vadim Dren, Duke of Edenhart, is head of the Grand Council and Ural 7th representative of Vardenfell. Yes, that doesn't help me very much. Hmm. 
I have no idea. Would he be upstairs? Is this throne room? Over Why here? are you here? Well, this is definitely not to his throne room. There's Bardow. We don't need to go there. Well, what do you think of Ebonheart? I just heard someone say there's trouble in the Pyrrhus City and they might have to call the legions. Wouldn't that be great? If that happened, it would have to be such something so catastrophic that you wouldn't want that to happen. I tell you, the legions are Whatever here to protect us. For, I'm sure I don't know how to find it. Is this an open secret where Duke Vadim Dren is? Ah, okay, I found it. Julian? I don't know where he is. In the fine yes, ebony armor. What do you want? Hello. I am Vadim Dren, Duke of Vardenfell. Welcome to Evenheart, Outlander. I knew it wasn't the Imperial. Um, so, your brother, Orvis Dren. Yes, he's my brother. Hmm. I talked with Duke Vadim Dren for a while. Turns out he's actually a likable guy. Though he does, he's, does look down on commoners. But there's nothing really I could could bring myself to talk to him about what his brother had planned. So let's go. At least you're still following me, Julian. This is where does the other door go out? There's two doors. I swear there was a door there. That's confusing. You want something? Hey, you know, it's not nearly as confusing as Vivek, so <laughs> I'll take these uh, straight lines that they like. I Everything's so I squared what is compared to Dunmer buildings. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Oh, yes, six fishes. I heard they replaced the statue. It was crumbling, the old statue. They couldn't repair it properly, so they just commissioned a new one. Very nice looking. Is that ebony? Is it made out of ebony? Wow. A sincere welcome to you. Hello, Ark. May you be forever blessed. Let's see, what did I write down? Uh... Find Blata Heteria. Tell her that Miramio sent me and that I want to go fishing. She'll bring me to Holoman by boat. I must speak to Verona Aaron, a monk at the dock at Holoman, about Holoman's magically hidden entrance. Blata Heteria. Tell her that Miramio sent me. I want to go fishing. I have no idea who that would be, so it's a woman. <laughs> Every time I see that. Done that Bosmer. Imperial? I don't know. Good afternoon. Oh. Hello. Good day. Uh, I'm Amelia Delatown. This is Ebenhart, named for Castle Ebenhart and the Duke of Ebenhart, Duke Faden Dren. By the grace of our Emperor, the Emperor's representative here in Vardfolk Dictor. Can I help you? That's quite the mouthful. You say that to everybody that comes here. You clearly are not the person that I'm looking for. I don't know if they're right at the dock, though. It just says even That name. Blataheteria. Do you want something from me? Oh, I don't think it's a Dunmer name. Yes, I'm Blataheteria. Do I know you? Oh. Right. You're Snow Railway. My friend said you might want to go fishing. I do. I know a fine place. Excellent fishing, my friend. Mira Mila says it's her favorite fishing spot. Ready to go? Yes. Good. I'm ready to take you to Hula Man anytime you're ready to travel, and I'll be here to offer that service anytime you need it. Okay, well then let's go. Go fishing. Ready to take Hula Man? Yes. <laughs> oh, uh, let's go there then. Beautiful Azura's Coast region. Oh, I've been here before. Stay still. Die! Got it. How am I supposed to talk? Ver Ver Veverone Arian. That's the last name. It's definitely 
Go ahead, Outlander. What do you need? I'm Vevron Aryan, a monk of Holoman. The monastery is here on this island. Take the stone pathway north from the docks and the path uphill. The entrance is hidden by a magical shield. Wait or rest at the head of the path, and the portal will open at dusk and dawn only. The magical twilight hour is sacred to Azura. Mira Milo has told us of your coming. You can find her in the library with Master Borello. Later, I can arrange for your return to Vivek whenever you are ready. Spent some time speaking to her. And I found I got along with her quite easily. And so, what can you tell me about Holy Man? Holman is a secret monastery of the dissident priests. The monastery itself is beneath the surface of a remote island along Azura's coast, with only a single entrance hidden from view by hills and vegetation. The monastery is further protected by a magical shield which opens only at dawn and dusk, the magical twilight hour sacred to Azura. What do you do, actually? I'm a humble monk, sir. I pray fast, meditate, a crust of bread and cold stream water will see me through the day. Maybe that will see you through the day, but not me. So I'll take the path north. What do you think of all this? How can I help you? Well, it's late. Really late. Later than I thought it would be. I guess we missed the uh, dusk part. I have to wait for dawn now. Maybe we can train in front of there. Pass the time a bit. Take the path north, up the hill. Well, this looks like the entrance to a building, if I ever saw one. But... Stone flower. Yeah, I guess we're waiting. You Inma. You Inma. We're being attacked by rats. <laughs> oh, my shield will light it. Oh, oh, that's a good target. Hard, hard one. That is a difficult target. Got it! A small moving target like that, and I got it! Okay, we have to pass a few hours, so... This place feels special somehow, protected, as if nothing bad could happen here. I hope that's true. I hope so as well. What do you think about this donation Cyrodo Brandy was supposed to do in Balmora? Oh, so you'll be you'll get brandy for your stupid cult, but I who fight for you and help with you with everything only deserve cheap Matsy? I see how it is. But you don't like Siliduric brandy. That's not the point. Hmm. So what about your ex girlfriend you were talking about? You really want to hear my entire story again? No. But you said you did want to go see Shani. I think I've asked you some of this Ice Blade of the Monarch. Hmm. Well, what about Silver Staff of Shaming? Shaming, eh? Does she want to go back to beat... So she can beat herself with it as punishment for being such a swit? I'd offer to help her, but frankly I find that sort of religious guar shit a bit weird. Hmm. I don't know if I ever asked you, what do you think of Solstein? Snow and Norris, ugh. Maybe I did ask you that. I remember you saying that. And Shani? I could go and talk to her. Yeah, we're pretty far from where... She is. Well, actually, she left on a hunting trip, but that was weeks ago. I don't know if she's back yet. Whew. Yeah. Uh, let's trade. And maybe I'll get some sleep. Um, how about try to improve your weapon skills? Long blade. Although, unfortunately, you only have a short blade, correct? I gave you my... Uh, Life Taker. But you do have Daedric Longbow. Life Taker is Daedric as well. Just altered it. And you have Scrap Metal. Oh. You seem to be a bit encumbered. Are you feeling okay? I thought you can carry more than this. Let's see. No, something happened to you. Hmm. I don't know if I could treat you, though. I don't have the ability to restore stolen attributes on others. I can do it to myself, at least when it comes to strength. Hmm. 
Well, that only took an hour. This is going to take a while. I think I'm going to lay down. I know I don't do it often, but I'll lay down on my arms. I'll wait for, th maybe wake me up in three hours, will you? If it's too early yet. I think it's still too early. At least no more rats have come. Well, whew. what to do? How about I sleep again for another hour? There it is. Whew. That wasn't a full night's sleep, or proper sleep. Ugh. Whoever sleeps in the armor. I know why people don't. Very uncomfortable. Wow, this is a full temple. Well, I don't think we're going to find the Tribunal Temple here, but... Um... Elm CV Restoration. This is a really sick place. Try to behave yourself, won't you? Excuse me? I was worried that you wouldn't behave yourself. There, that actually restored you. I don't know who to speak to. Who do I even talk to? Hello. Fortune seems to have smiled on you, friend. Making a name for yourself as a successful underworld enforcer, I hear. I'm trying to get away from that, actually. But, uh, yeah, wh what is your name? I am Tyvon Sadri, a priest. Can you tell me about the dissident priests? We are fiercely loyal to the temple's ancient traditions, but we are troubled that the ultimate, ultimate source of the tribunal's divinity might be the same as the source of Dagoth's er, evil power. I completely agree. It's the same source, and that's why they can't put a stop to him. Dagoth Ur's power seems to wax as the tribunal's power wanes. Read the Progress of Truth and other documents of the Apographa in our library, and you'll see why we are uneasy. Mary Milo sent me here. She's run terrible risks remaining at the Hall of Wisdom and Truth, and we are grateful that you have rescued her from the Ministry of Truth. Well, is she not here? What can you tell me about the Nerevarine? The Ashlanders have a prophecy that, prophecy that one day a reincarnation of the legendary hero Nevarar will unite the Dunmer against invaders and restore the ancient Dark Elven nation. But the Tribunal Temple says this is false and profane superstition, and the Ordinators deal mercilessly with those who profess such beliefs. Go ahead, Outlander. What do you need? Yeah, maybe Milo should be here. Oh. I see you made it here safely. Thank you, Snow Relvane, for rescuing me. Now, I'll stay here at Holman and with Master Borello and assist him with the monastery's library. What can you tell me about the Master Borello? He's an abbot of our monastery and the head of our secret order. Can you tell me about the secret order? We have adopted the name Dissident Priests. We are not ashamed of our disputes with the temple's hierarchy. I think I've talked to you about the Dissident Priest, but you have you, anything more to say about him? Uh, we're fiercely, fiercely loyal to the Temple's ancient traditions. Yeah, I know, I was just given the description from uh, somebody at the front entrance. So, what can you tell me about the persecution of the Nerevarine? It's an Ashlander cult, primitive superstition, says the Temple. Nerevarines say the Tribunal are false gods. I've never understood why the Temple wastes so much energy on them. The faithful cannot be shaken by such attacks, and the Ashlanders are just ignorant savages. But since the submission of the Temple to the Empire and the erosion of faith among the Dummer, the militant wing of the Temple is increasingly fierce in its attacks on heretics and heathens. Yeah, so I guess you got an upfront meeting, or, or you got to know them personally in the Ministry of Truth. Uh, was hollowed out to pro it was hollowed out to provide a prison and re-education center operated by the temple ordinators for the correction of heretics. Okay, so what is it that you wanted me to do here? I was supposed to read a book. Uh, the Neverine Prophecies? Uh, they have, the Ashlanders have a mystical tradition of interpreting dreams and visions as prophecies. These prophecies are recorded in verse and may be lost or garb garbled over the generations, but the dissident priests have collected many ancient prophecies of the Neverine. Nerevarine, many of which they believe to be genuine. Collectively, these are called the Lost Prophecies of the Incarnate. One of the sacred missions of the dissident priests is the collection and study of these prophecies. How oh, wonderful. Welcome, Outlander. Is there something I can do for you? Hello. How can I help you? And who might you be, actually? Are you the master? Uh, Borello. 
You tell me about Dagother. So long as the Ordinators, Boyne Armagers, and Tribunal could contain the Blight and Dagoth Ur's creatures within the Ghost Fence, faith and in the Temple's protective power was strong, but now travelers and settlements suffer from Blight Storms and marauding monsters, and the people fear the Temple is losing its ages-old battle with the Devil Dagoth Ur. Where is this book, The Lost Prophecies? I have reviewed the Apographa and have found two passages of particular interest. May We've made copies of these passages to give you. Many are familiar with the two Nerevarine prophecies currently current among the Ashlanders called The Stranger and The Seven Visions. I have those on me, actually. We have two other prophecies, The Lost Prophecy and The Seven Curses, that may offer traditional additional insights into the riddles surrounding the coming of the Incarnate. Perhaps these are the lost prophecies that your friend Nibani Mesa told you about. We have also prepared a document for you called Kagranak's Tools. This document will explain to you and to others the terrible secret that the Temple conceals about the true history of the Tribunal and the corrupt nature of their divine powers. It is to conceal this secret that the Temple persecutes the Nerevarine and the dissident priests. This persecution must stop. We must be united against our true enemy, Dagoth Ur, and if you are the Nerevarine, you must lead us against him. It's spreading. I'm not the only one that thinks I am the Nerevarine. Thank you. So, uh, Lost Prophecies, Seven Curses, and Kagranox tools have been given to me. What can you tell me about the uh, uh, Apophographa? The Hierographa are the collected priestly writings of the Temple. The Apophographa Apographa are the hidden writings, secrets known only at the highest levels of priesthood and inquisition. To find the temple, we have gathered as much as the Apographa as we can in whole man. One of the chief disputes between the temple and the dissidents' priests is that the temple hides the truth from its followers. They would lose a lot of their power, or at least Elm Seavey would. And the followers in the temple who follow them. <sighs> what is the lost, uh, lost prophecies I've already asked you? What is the Seven Curses about? Seven Curses reads as follows. Through the doors of the unmourned house, where scoffers scoff and schemers scheme, from the halls of the oath-breaking house, bring seven curses of gods blasphemed. First curse, curse of fire. Second curse, curse of ash. Third curse, curse of flesh. Fourth curse, curse of ghosts. Fifth curse, curse of seed. Sixth curse, curse of despair. Seventh curse, curse of dreams. Your copy of the seven curses bears our guesses at interpreting the verses. In short form, seven curses come from House Dagoth or House Dwemer, or both fire and ash come from Red Mountain, flesh is corporus. Curse of Flesh is third. Flesh is corporus. Ghosts, seed, and despair are unclear. Curse of, but Curse of Dreams seems to refer to recent cases of soul sickness and sleeper attacks in the towns. Soul sickness. That's the first time I've heard of that, I think. Sleeper attacks. I've experienced that. They're attacking others as well. I thought they were just coming after me. Uh, well, what was the other one? Um... So that's the seven curses and lost prophecies. I guess I should read them myself. So you've taken Mera Milo in. She's run a terrible risk uh, remaining at the Hall of Wisdom and Truth, and we are grateful that you have rescued her from the Ministry of Truth. What can you tell me about St. Nerevar? By the way, here are a few books from our library you might want, you might find of interest. Each gives a very different impression of Nerevar. The real Nerevar? I've never heard of that book. Nerevar Moon Star. I've heard of that before. And Saint Nerevar, I've read that when I was younger. But the real Nerevar, <laughs> this would be interesting. What can you tell me about the Nerevarine? Our interest in the Nerevarine used to be a matter of principle, a willingness to consider, consider the validity of mystical insights rejected by Temple Doctrine. Now Dagoth Ur grows stronger while the Tribunal grows weaker, and the return of Saint Nerevar, only, even if only reborn in spirit, may be our best prospect of salvation. So yours is a secret order. We have adopted the name Dissident Priest. We are not ashamed of our disputes with the Temple Hierarchy. Can you tell me about the Sixth House? This is a new threat, and not yet widely recognized as another face of the Devil Dagoth Ur, but it is clearly a sign of coming crisis, and the Temple may no longer be able to protect Morrowind. In such troubled times, the Dunra may turn to the ancient pillars of faith, the Ancestors and the Daedra, and especially to the prophetic visions granted by Lord Azura. They may even look to the Nerevarine, St. Nerevar reborn, to lead them against the grim armies of Dagoth Ur. Interesting. Thank you very much. Well, we have what I was, came looking for, I believe. 
But there's a library here and there's a library on the other side. <sighs> see. I believe I have to go back to... Spoken to call himself a sleeper, call him a name, so you cannot deny your Lord Dagoth Earth, six house of risen. Yeah, this is about my dreams that I wrote down. These are all my dreams I wrote down. I told the spymaster how the six house cultists attacked me as I slept in bed. The spymaster said it may not be safe to sleep in town. Perhaps I should search for a nearby base and attack them before they attack me. Where are they, though? <laughs> I don't even know where to go to see them. Anyways. I think I came what I... I think I got what I came looking for, so... I should probably move on now. 